So amivantamab is a EGFR inhibitor, but it's a different class. So the, the standard things that we talk about are osimertinib, previously erlotinib, and those are all small molecules. So this is different and unique in that it's a monoclonal uh, antibody, which means it binds, it binds at the outside of the cell. So it can work in a different mechanism of action. It works as a different mechanism of action targeting the, the outer part of EGFR, meaning it hopefully can overcome resistance mutations. It can also be combined, as was the focus of the Chrysalis study, with uh, other drugs, and specifically lizertinib, and that was the whole focus of the uh, Chrysalis study, in which you combined two EGFR inhibitors of different mechanisms. So that's the excitement about it and why it's different. And Mavantamib is bispecific, so it targets both EGFR and MET, meaning uh, it can target those mechanisms of resistance as well. And the two biggest areas where uh, EGFR inhibitors or the classical ones, such as OC, uh, stop working is from either a new mutation in EGFR, such as something called C797S, or MET amplification or MET mutation. So this was designed to overcome both of those as well as others.